So far, it hasn't been as tough as expected. <laughs> it's getting harder and harder. Every freaking step. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to another vlog. We just watched a beautiful sunrise at Pico do Ariero, the third highest mountain on Madeira. The conditions are not perfect, but definitely better than the last time that we've been here two days ago. It was super foggy, we couldn't see anything, not even the sun rising, but today we were able to catch the sunrise. Even though it's pretty windy, we are now gonna attempt the hardest hike on Madeira. It's a 12 or 13 kilometer hike from the third highest mountain all the way to the highest mountain on Madeira, Pico Ruivo. Not too sure if we're gonna make it. One, because it's super cold. Two, because it's supposed to be very, very hot. And three, because it's super windy. And if it gets too dangerous, we might abort the mission, but we're gonna give it a try. And now let's go do the hike. already told you that the hike is around 13 kilometers long but what he hasn't told you is that we will need around seven hours for this hike and the reason for that is that although the highest mountain is only 40 meters higher than the third highest mountain where we're starting there are a lot of stairs because we need to walk up and down and up and down again to get to the highest mountain so the change of elevation is 1400 meters that's a lot, I think, at least for us, because we're untrained. So for the first hour, we've basically just been walking downhill, which you could think is nice because it's not as hard as going uphill. But when you think about that, this is not a round way, but the beginning of the, of the hike right now is also the end of the hike. So that means at the end of the hike, when we are most exhausted, we have to walk all the way back up. Oh my God. Three hike updates. The first one, the wind is gone, which is good. Second is, we've done two thirds of the hike, of the hike to the highest mountain, which is also good. But the third update, guys, we reached the metal stairs just behind me and we read online that the metal stairs will kill you. <laughs> Are you ready, Flo? Kind of, <laughs> no. Let's go. This has to be the most difficult part of the hike. What an incline. Ooh. A couple of years ago, there was a devastating bush fire here in the mountains. And that's when a lot of trees died here. And even though it's really sad that the trees died, they look pretty cool. It's hard to imagine that there was a bush fire up in the mountains here. I just, I just can't imagine how it must have looked like with the flames here. So crazy. We're almost there. Let's go. I did it. I'm on the highest mountain of Madeira. Yes. 
All the way in the back you can see where we started. We did it guys. Three hours and 20 minutes to reach the highest point on Madeira. Mm, so far it hasn't been as tough as expected as some of the reviews that we've read online made us think. But we also have to walk all the way back. So now it's time for a little snack before we're heading down and up again. You good? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my legs. It's getting harder and harder. Every freaking step. <laughs> Look at my hair. We're not even there. No, not at all. We did it guys, we completed the hike in around 3 hours for the way back, so 6 hours and 20 minutes total. And even though I said it was not too hard to get to the highest peak, it was super super tough to get back. Because we went all the way back down again, all the way back up again. We had to take some breaks, quite a few of them. I'm done filming. All I want to do now is go to the supermarket, buy a whole pint of Ben and Jerry's ice cream and just chill for the rest of the day. Take a shower of course and then that's it. I'm out. <laughs> we just watched a beautiful sunset at Pico de Ariero. Sunrise. Okay. It's 1,800, it's only 40 meters that there was a bus fire high up in huh? the conditions are not perfect but pretty good the sun is